Hey guys, this is Enrix. Today I'm gonna show you the new Injective Flight machine and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the difference between this one and the older flight machine and I'll just show you a little pieces and I'll tell you what I think about it. I already tried it a few times, I put it back in a box just for you to see a little bit more how, how it comes and what you get with it. So, this is the machine. Pretty cool design and um, it looks a little bit smaller than other one and a little bit more advanced and kind of like a little bit more finished. Then it comes with this semi-rigid tension bar and let's see what else we have there. And these new torsion drive systems with medium, soft and hard. Also the new hex key, some extras, all the information there as well. And this machine setup that explains you exactly what you need to do and how it all works. So it has these removable cups as well. It kind of protects the motor from, I guess, from some ink and stuff or liquids or hair or something getting there or like it used to be with other injectors so that's like a little upgrade there so what i found it like moves quite a lot and I, I don't think it's really secure it just flips up really easy also you can remove all these sides i guess later on they will get some new like caps out and some colors so you can customize your machine different color of this one and those i don't really think it's really necessary anyway it comes only with one cam and it's 3.25 mil so it's pretty good for good all-rounder you can do good shading and good color with it if you want to customize, you can buy these extra from 2.5 mil up to 4 mil cam. With all these free tension bars and loads of different cams, it's almost unlimited setups you can create with this machine, so it's pretty cool as well. I haven't really tried all the setups, all the different variations on this machine, but from what I tried, I do prefer older ones more than these new ones. Older ones are these, but I do prefer just straight rigid bar between all of them. Another new thing is on this machine is this thing. It's really similar style to what FK Irons has in, in their machines. And you can use this vice for like any grip. You can use this with Dark Lab or any disposable ones, or you can take it off and use the, the machine with one of Shane grips if you like those. For putting together as well, it's really simple. You can use any cams from older Injecta or that one, the black one, the new one. So I'll just set up new one with this semi-rigid bar. Put it all together and you need to put the rubber band on as well. Something like this. I'll plug it in and we'll check how it runs and everything. So it has that LED light here as well. That's the new thing. It's completely unnecessary, I think. It has that weird angle RCA, but it actually, it does sit really good in your and when you are tattooing. The machine is really light and really small and it's really, really comfortable to use it. Another good thing about this new flight machine is that you can slow it down and it runs even on like four volts if you wanna do something really slow and really, really soft. Older flight, it starts up only from nine volts and what I explained in my last video about it, sometimes nine volts is a little bit too fast and it hits too hard if you especially if you work around bony areas or you want to do some larger lines or something so this is big improvement on this machine it says on manual you can use it up to 16 volts i don't think anyone would go that far with it when i do with it it actually hits quite soft skin even on like 10 volts or 9 volts i think it hits skin a little little bit softer than the other one and smoother shading you can achieve with this one plus the good thing is you can do some line work as well with it. I used this machine around six, seven times. A few times I tried with this new semi-rigid bar. I didn't really like that one. Then I tried with this new tensioner, soft one on softer option. To me, it actually hit a little bit harder than the rigid one. Even though it was the softest, softest one, you, I could still do the lines with this and I like that one. The best setup is the same what I use. My other flight is just with straight rigid bar. To me, it's just the best option. I might try to use it in the next few weeks with one, one of those, medium and harder one. If you see these curves here, it's like three different positions, how you can put it in your machine and how you can set it up. That all is explained on the manual. I'm not gonna go through th those details, but as you can see, like you can set it up from soft to hardest, even on medium one. And the same goes with the harder one and softer one, if that makes sense. Another big improvement on, on this machine is 
no jump delay like on the last one. When you press it, it starts straight away. On the older injector, there was like a few seconds delay. So to me, it wasn't really an issue because I'm using always on pedal mode. So I didn't really feel that it ran all the time good and smooth. I know the other artists were complaining. I think when they were using pedal, every time they press it starts a little bit later. So that's another big improvement on this machine. It says it has the new nanotechnology motor. I don't know what that means, I'm not an engineer. To me, there's really not that much difference between how it runs, only that you can slow it down and that's pretty cool, but if you're running it fast, I don't really see a lot of difference. It's just motor spinning and that's about it. It's really, really similar to the older Flight version. Maybe that's why they named it Flight Nano as well. Kind of a lot more improvements on this, but I would say it's almost the same machine like the old one. It's been out for a few months now, I think, but it's really hard to get it anywhere. It's sold out everywhere and there's no parts anywhere available. If you're looking to get one soon, good luck with that. Hopefully there will be still a lot of them available. So again, it comes with all these three tensioners, hard, medium and soft, semi-rigid bar. You can use it with any other older versions, what's really good. And any of the cams available from 4mm to 2.5 and the rigid bar. With all these, I think there's like more than thousand options how you can put it all together. It might take you a few weeks to customize it like you want exactly, but I'm sure you can customize machine so it runs exactly how you want and exactly for everyone needs. But it might take forever for you to find exactly the one option what you love and you might get frustrated with it and sometimes when I tattoo I get it in my head as well is this one is right for this tattoo is this is the right setup for this placement am I running everything right maybe I need to change something in the middle of the tattoo because I'm not feeling comfortable so it does messes with your head sometimes I think when there's so many options available sometimes it's just easier if there's only one option when I use it I use it with this RPG cartridge grip always because then just easier I can autoclave that one in the end I don't have any experience with color tattoos in this machine I think it will be perfect for color it's great for black and gray to get give you a little bit more idea about how I use this machine I will just check here because I'm not really sure I need to I really need to hear the sound for soft shading I would go 9.5 to 10 volts I would go for soft shading for blending and stuff for lines I will go maybe around 8 volts for some larger lines and for smaller lines uh, again like 9.5 will be pretty cool i did try to use it with smaller lines and i wasn't really a big fan of it so like for freeliner or for one single liner i would still set up another machine to use for everything else it was really good it was great for solid black areas and for white highlights it was great as well it's pretty cool machine again as always, I'll attach all info about Injecta and maybe where you can get some of these machines below and a little bit more information. If you have any questions about it, uh, let me know below as well. I'll try to answer them. I hope this video was helpful. You found out more about this machine. Thank you for watching and see you next time.